This is an overview of the SD1 Plus large format scanner from Context and in particular Next Image Free Software, a version of Next Image that ships with the SD1 Plus scanners and is free. The SD1 Plus scanners are available in both 24 inch and 36 inch scan width models. Let's stage an A1 architectural plan face up in the scanner and open the Next Image Free software. It looks and feels just like the full version of Next Image, but with fewer features. Before we scan, let's take a look at some of the controls you have. Some presets for scanning, black and white CAD, color or grayscale CAD. When you use these, it sets the page size to auto sizing. Or you can manually select the page size and the orientation using optional ANSI ISO or architectural page sizes. We're scanning an A1 landscape plan. You can select the scanning resolution. You have options of 150, 300 or 600 DPI. We'll use 300 DPI for the plan. If not using a preset, you can define the type of scan. 24 bit color, 8 bit grayscale or mono using adaptive thresholding. We'll use color. The brightness control is a simple slider for lighter or darker images. It also has a reset to zero option. The brightness adjustment can be used after scans have been completed. And we also have a negative original tick box option. So that's if you have something like a blueprint where you have white on a blue background. The rotate option will save the image rotated when the scan finishes. The auto align option is used to automatically deskew the image when the scan is completed. The mirror option is useful when scanning, for example, a drawing on vellum, where the detail is clearer on the back of the vellum. So the drawing is scanned on the reverse side and then mirrored afterwards. Destination options, scan to email, where the image is attached to the default email application or scan to folder. We'll scan to a local folder on our C drive and we'll call the image plan. And we can save this image to either a JPEG, a PDF, a PDF A or TIFF format. We'll choose the PDF option and click the scan button to start the scan. We get to see the image as it's been scanned. And when it's finished, it's redrawn on the screen. On the left hand side here, we have some navigation options. We'll zoom in here at one to one and take a look at the image. As you can see, it's a nice clean image as we pan around. But if we did want to adjust the image, for example, here the brightness, and we decrease it. So now you can see more of the background noise is coming through. If I click the reset, it puts it back to zero brightness. Clicking the all icon zooms us to the full extent of the drawing. Uh, below it, we have the area. So we click and hold and draw a rectangle to zoom into that area. And then fairly obviously zoom in and zoom out. And if we zoom back out to the full extent, we can see how some of the options like brightness can be applied after the scan is finished. So for example, here we can do a 90 degree rotation on the drawing uh, if needed and then save it. Uh, we can select the negative original option. Okay, that gives a basic overview of the tools and the features of Next Image Free. We'll take a look at the share option now. This gives us the ability to save the images to Dropbox account, Box, Microsoft OneDrive, or Google Drive. 
We're using Dropbox and for this drawing I'll now use the Color CAD preset. In fact the presets are the only options you do have when you're scanning to a cloud environment. I'll select the preview option first. So this scans the drawing and as we can see it's scanning but it also gives me the ability to then edit the drawing. So what I'm going to do here is grab the corners and I'm going to crop the area that actually I want to save. And if I hit the save button, this one I'll save the area to my Dropbox account. And if we take a look at the folder, we should be able to see the file saved. The images are all saved with a date, time, file name. And if we click on it, we should be able to open it and take a look. That ends this video. Thank you very much for taking the time to look and listen. And please look out for more in the future. Thanks.